gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest show on earth, the Divine Kids Circus. Be prepared to be amazed and captivated by the most magnificent, most dangerous adventures this series will have to offer. Sit back and enjoy the show. His signs are great, his wonders are mighty, his kingdom will last forever. His rule will never end. Daniel 4, 3. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine, 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 I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bush, oh no I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine all over the world I'm gonna let it shine Oh, let it shine all over the world I'm gonna let it shine let it shine all over the world I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine, let it shine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine let it shine, 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 I'm gonna let it shine, yeah. This act is about to turn up the heat. Welcome Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego, the fire eaters. Hey guys, question, have you ever seen fire eaters before? I've only seen them on TV and hopefully that's as close as I'll get, but I know that they are very popular in circus and in um, carnival things because, you know, people who are skilled, they tend to practice with fire. Me, however, I would watch it from the TV. I do want to bring up a story though, the story of Shadrach. Meshach and Abednego, these were three men who came very close to fire once. Let me tell you their story. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were loyal to God. This, this is why they refused to worship a golden statue. When King Nebuchadnezzar heard that they were refusing to worship the statue and that they were disobeying him, he ordered for the furnace to be turned up seven times hotter and for the men, the three men, to be tied up by their hands and by their feet. So he also ordered that the biggest and the strongest guard come to get them and push them inside the furnace. The Bible says that the furnace was so hot that even the guards, 
The big strong guards were consumed by the flames just as they were getting close enough to push them. That's how hot it was. And I know it's a little scary, but I think the best part is yet to come. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were inside the furnace, inside in the middle of the flames. Yet King Nebuchadnezzar was outside. He was in complete shock because he just saw something he couldn't believe. He saw four men standing in the middle of the fire. They were not tied from their hands or their feet and they were just walking around in the fire. He was completely shook. He said, didn't I say, tie those three men up and throw them into the fire? So then why do I see four men? The Bible also says that one of those men was just a silhouette that King Nebuchadnezzar said, he looks like the child of the gods. When he ordered the men to step out, only three men came out, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. So he then at that moment noticed that the one that was standing with them was their God. So God literally stood with Shadrach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the middle of the flames. He never left them. He was right there. They knew that there was a big possibility that by saying, no, we're not going to worship your statue, that they were gonna die. Yet they still did it. And they even said, if God is with us, good, he will deliver us. And if he's not, I'm still not gonna worship your God. And what happened? God stood with them in the middle of the fire. That's how good God is. So, you know, even in, in our toughest times, he's always with us. He's always standing with us. After witnessing what happened, King Nebuchadnezzar gave praise to the God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. He ordered that anybody who was to talk bad or say anything against the king, the, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be thrown into the fire. And after that, King Nebuchadnezzar knew who God was. So I just want to ask you guys to join me in this small prayer. We want to give thanks to God for always being with us at all times. So, dear God, thank you for always being with us at all times. Thank you for always, always being on our side. Even when we don't see you and we don't feel you, we know that you are always there, Lord, and that you're always waiting to hear from us. Thank you, God, and keep taking care of us and our families. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. Signs are great, his wonders are mighty, his kingdom will last forever, his rule will never end. Daniel 4, 3.